Hi everyone, uh, we've got a very small little module that we created today, myself and, and Maria, um, for a local gov Drupal called local gov Sally. Um, it's actually, it'll work on any Drupal website, not just uh, not just um, local gov Drupal, Drupal uh, websites. So you can find it here at local gov Sally, and I'm going to show you what, what it does. So if you have a website like this, and this is a standard Drupal, uh, uh, just a base install of the microsite system, that's, it's not finished, but you know, part of it. And you can see the word search up here and it's on a kind of a gray background it's got white text so that's that wouldn't be accessible wouldn't pass color contrast rules um for for visually impaired people so we wanted to build in something that would that would maybe allow us to show that hey you got an issue here make sure we we, we fix it or at least that you know you're aware of it so we created a module called uh, composer require local gov drupal slash local gov so it's Sally. So that should compo oh, composer. Ah, okay. Misspelling composer. So this will go across to uh, GitHub now. Grab the module first. Oh, I think it will. Should. And um, we should see here we've got web modules contrib and local gov Sally here. So I'm going to go enable this module. Let's see here. Uh, local gov let's enable that and um, by enabling that what happens now is if you are logged in and you have permission to use the uh, Sally uh, widget you'll see Sally widget appearing down here in the bottom right hand corner I'm not sure if my if my <laughs> I'm not sure if this is recording my, my face as well so if it is you might not be able to see it actually you know I'll, I'll make this up here so we can see this small little widget here and if you click on this it will now tell you how many errors we have on the screen and how many warnings we have. So this puts a, a red bar around this error here and tells us there's a warning and the error is duplicate ID. So we got more than one uh, block on the page with the same ID. And I'm gonna guess there's a, another error somewhere here for, um, oh, that's the only one showing up. There, there should, is it this one? We have all text is good. I was expecting to get a, a contrast error for the, for the label. I'm not sure why, why I don't. Um, oh, here we have to t t turn it on here so we can t t turn this on. Now we can see that we've got an error here. The text not have enough contrast with the background, so we know then that we should change the background color of this uh, block here. So if if we if we go, to, I won't go do it now. But if we went into our microsites and we um, change the background color then to a dark black or dark gray, this would this would this would show up properly for us. So it's just a, it's, a, it's a nice thing. But look, we can turn on lots of things. Uh, hot accessibility, like for our form labels for our links uh, the readability of the page itself. I think that might only work for English at the moment. Um, it's not gonna work here if everything is in Latin. Uh, dark mode, we don't have a dark mode. Oh, there's dark mode for this as opposed to dark mode for our websites. So that's a that's a pretty cool little feature we, we, we've built. And as I said, it will work on any uh, Drupal website, not just not just local gov microsites and not even just local gov uh, websites themselves. So that's it, I thought, I thought I'd give you a quick show and thanks to Maria for the inspiration and the, the help and the testing of it.